Hi, I'm Diane Hendricks and welcome to Fresh to Frozen and Back. This show is going to make your life easier. In each episode, I'm going to show you how to prepare delicious and healthy meals using quality ingredients, then show you how to freeze them properly and then bring them back to the table, zhuzh them up a bit and bring them back to life. This episode is all about school lunches. My kids are older now, but I always pack their lunches. And I'm just using some of the things that they used to love that are a little bit different and out of the box. Your kids are not gonna to wanna to trade these lunches. So let's start over here. Over here we have a Chinese takeout as an example. We have some vegetable dumplings with some Asian dipping sauce, a little shredded cabbage, um, some cucumber cubes, and a fortune cookie, which makes it a lot of fun because your kids can pop it open and read their fortune. I love it. You can also put this in a Chinese takeout container, which is really fun. You can put the dumplings in the container with the cabbage, Put the dipping sauce on the side, close it up, and put a nice ice cold pack in with the lunch box. So don't forget, safety first, make sure that you uh, keep a nice ice cold pack in the lunch box for the lunches. Next one we have, I always called it with my kids fancy schmancy because my kids loved shrimp. They loved chilled shrimp. So it's the easy thing to send to school. And these are these are the tiny little shrimp, but you can go as, as large as you like. You can do the 1620s, the 2125s. It doesn't matter what the size is. It depends on what your kid likes. Some crackers, some whole grain crackers, a little bit of trail mix, and then we have some cheese cubes. If your kids like cheese, you just cut it in little cubes and they can pop it in. And then a dipping sauce. My kids it was crazy. My son Derek was like nine years old and loving cocktail sauce. And some of the other kids didn't. So if you like ranch or creamy based sauce, whatever your kid likes, they like to dip. Then over here, a bento box or a smorgasbord or a mishmash is what we used to call it. So I would just take whatever my son liked and just kind of put it in separate little containers inside the lunch box. These are actually my kids' lunch boxes from when they were really little. They're 21 and 18 now. Um, again, we have some cheese cubes if they like cheese, some trail mix or some dried fruit, or you can put, you know, you can mix this up however you like. If your child doesn't want fruit for lunch, you can put vegetables in, but try to get at least a fruit or a vegetable in their lunch. And then a hard boiled egg. You can't beat a hard boiled egg. It's loaded with nutrition and it's very easy to eat. Um, here's applesauce. You can throw a little spoon in with the, with the lunch so that they can eat their applesauce. And again, some whole grain crackers or maybe toast or whatever they like. Preparing lunch for your child may seem like a daunting task, but it really doesn't have to be. There are so many shortcuts that you can make in order to get good nutrition into your kid, but you want them to enjoy it as well. One of the best things to do, which is what I did with my kids when they were really little, is I actually took a pad and a piece of paper and asked them each what they liked. And I did it by category. So for vegetables, I would say, all right, Derek, what do you like for vegetables? And he would tell me what he likes. Lucas, what do you like? And I would write it down. And it wasn't very long list, I'll tell you that. It was like maybe carrots and cucumbers. But at least it's vegetables and something you can throw in the lunch box. Same thing with fruits. My oldest, mangoes, was the only thing that he liked, and my youngest, blueberries, were the only thing that he liked. But that's okay, I just worked with that until their tastes changed. So same thing with proteins. It was really difficult to get my youngest to eat any type of meat, so I would give him like plant-based alternatives, like uh, quinoa, that is a complete protein on its own, 
and you know just different types of things. My oldest like chicken and the youngest again like shrimp. So there's definitely ways to do it. So you make that list and then I just planned out five days of meals and then just kind of cycled it around, you know, from week to week and then just added things and took things away. So it makes it a lot easier, but definitely don't give up. And freezing, which I'm going to show you at the end of the episode, a lot of this stuff can be frozen. So we just talked about the dumplings. Those were frozen to start with. You can cook them up and then you can refreeze them again. The pineapple cubes can be frozen. Um, the shrimp can be frozen, the cheese cubes, which I'll show you. Any, you know, so much of this applesauce. I make homemade applesauce, which is in one of my episodes, and you can freeze that in little containers like this. So you make a whole thing of applesauce, you take it, you put it in a small container, and then you can just cap it. So you can have a little stack of applesauces right in your freezer and just pop it in the lunchbox frozen, and by the time uh, lunch comes around, it'll be defrosted. So there's a lot of ways to do it. The things that don't freeze the best are vegetables, especially like lettuce or any type of, you know, hard-boiled eggs freeze okay, but they freeze better when you make like an egg salad. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so here we have a Mexican fiesta. My kids love chili. You can do a vegetarian chili with just beans, or you can do, you can add corn to it, which I like to add corn, some organic corn, or you can do a turkey chili, chicken, beef, whatever you like. So what I do is I love, I actually do this in my catering too when I pass around um, mini tacos. So you take a tortilla, and I have a ring mold, you can get this at any um, kitchen store, and you just go down into the tortilla, and I always go as close to the edge as possible so I can make as many as I can out of one tortilla so there's not a lot of waste. And you just kind of turn it and turn it, and then you end up with this little tiny, you end up with a little tortilla that you can give to your kids in their lunchbox if they like soft tortillas, or the hard tortillas, which I don't know, I never, the hard uh, taco shells, every time I bite into them, they just break into a million pieces. So I think for kids, I think the soft tortillas, uh, the soft tortillas is probably easier at school so it doesn't get all over the place. And then you'll just take your chili, and actually, this is this would all be in a lunchbox, all packed. But the fun part is you're getting your kids more involved in their lunches. So they're actually going to do the assembling on their own. So they're going to take their little tortilla, and you can show them how to do it or tell them how to do it. And you're going to take just a little bit of salsa, which I love. You can make a quick salsa, which I'm going to show you in one of these episodes. And then you take a little bit of shredded cheese on the bottom, and then I'll put a little bit of the chili in, and your kids will get to know how to do this like on their own, and then they'll be the envy of all their friends because this is so yummy. And then we'll take another little hit of cheese, and maybe you can even like break this cucumber, because my son loves cucumbers like you said, and you can just stick a cucumber right in there too, right on the side, and then you have like a nice little taco, and then you give them about, you know, maybe three of these. Let me show you how to make another one again. And then again, you're gonna go through this entire, and it doesn't matter if you get away from the edge. And there's another one. And so I'll get three out of this. Okay, and that's it. So then you can send them with these three little shells or more, and that's it. And then they can, it's like a DIY lunch for your kids and they'll love it. Okay, and then next we have, I'm using the McCain Smiles, which I, absolutely love my kids have always loved them but you can do so many fun things with them they're easy and they freeze beautifully I'm gonna show you these little McCain potato pizza sandwiches that I froze and you can just take them right out of the freezer and stick them in the lunchbox and they're delicious here's all you do so we're gonna use another mold and I'm gonna take a slice of provolone cheese and this mold is about the size of one of these adorable little smiles which are made with 100% potatoes, no artificial flavors or colors, and they're absolutely yummy.
I baked off these smiles. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two because I'm gonna make a little sandwich. So we're gonna take one of the smiles. Look how cute that is, I love that. What's better than your kid opening up his lunchbox and something smiling at them? So we're gonna take the smile, we're gonna put a little bit of marinara sauce on it, any, any kind that you like, just a little bit. I like to make sure that the marinara sauce goes through the eyes of the uh, smiles, you'll see, it's really cute. So the marinara sauce, and then I'm gonna tap this like this, just to get a little bit on both sides because you don't want it to get all over the place. And then we're gonna take this little piece of provolone cheese, just put that there. I'm gonna do another one, double. Then we're gonna put one on the other side. And then I'm gonna take a little basil leaf, just a little bit. Basil's a very strong flavor, it depends on your kid. And if he doesn't like basil, that's fine. Uh, baby spinach works great because it's not as strong of a flavor. But my kids have pretty good palates and they, they love it. So I, just one little piece off the basil is good. And then I'm gonna just take an olive. My kids like green olives, you can use black olives, you don't have to use any olives, use whatever you like. If you want a little piece of any, any type of uh, food that your kids like, always go good on a pizza. That's it. And then we're just gonna turn it over. And you get, look, now if you can see, look at how the, the sauce kinda comes out of the eye, it's really cute. And then I just give my kids maybe three, three or four of them and they're so delicious, super simple. Okay, moving on, we have a wrap. It's a wrap, my kids love wraps. It's a really simple way to pack a lunch. You can use bread, you can use bagels, whatever your children like, but my kids have always been big fans of wraps. You can use soft tortillas, you can use corn, flour, whatever you like, and in all different sizes. Some of them are really big, so with the smaller kids, um, I would suggest that you use a smaller wrap. And you can use any condiments that you like. So it depends on what your kids like. I mean, my kids like ranch uh, dressing, so I'm gonna show you in a second how to make a homemade quick ranch that's really, really delicious delicious, or you can use Greek yogurt, or you can use anything that you like. So here, I'm just going to spread a little bit of, this is like a combination of Greek yogurt and sour cream, my kids love that. And then I'm going to add whatever they like. We have provolone eaters in my house. Actually, see this leftover from the little smiley faces? We can use that and it's not going to waste. So I'm gonna use that and maybe a half of another piece. Okay, and this also makes a great snack. All of these um, meals that are for school lunches are also great for after school snacks, half the amount or just little bits and pieces, but making homemade uh, food for your kids is really important, especially because you don't know what's in a lot of the stuff that you buy, so you wanna have the most control over the food that you're preparing for yourself and for your kids. Okay, so I have the cheese and then I'm going to use an organic um, oven roasted turkey. This is just what my kids love. And like I was saying with the baby spinach, so here's some baby spinach. Now for these smiley, uh, these little smile faces, like I said, if, you're, if your kid doesn't like basil, this is spinach. Just put a piece of uh, the spinach on there and they'll love it. So we'll just pop that on there just to show you the versatility. Or you could do both for double nutrition. You could do basil and a little piece of spinach. Uh, okay, so we have some spinach and I think that's enough. You can add anything that your kids like, maybe Let's throw a couple cucumbers on there. I'll slice them up a little bit. So if you're gonna do cucumbers, I have these coins ready for the next lunch, but just take a little slice, just so you get a little bit of flavor in there, and just top that in. And that gives it crunch, because kids like texture too, so texture is fun. And mustard is also something else that, that a kids will like. So what I do is I just kind of fold both halves in, and then I'll go here. It just depends on how you wanna make your wrap and then just roll and pull back at the same time. That way nothing gets uh, falls out of the outside, and then you just roll it. And what you can do is you can make all of this the night before. You wrap this nice and tight in some, uh, some aluminum foil and leave it in your refrigerator, and then when you wake up in the morning, all you do is you just take it out and you just slice it in half. And I always like to slice it on the diagonal, I think it just looks prettier. And then you can just wrap it up, and sometimes I wrap it into two pieces because um, my youngest never was a huge eater at lunchtime, but he would eat like half of it at lunchtime and then at snack time he would eat the other half. So, and that looks really yummy and there's a lot of nutrition going on in there. So we have the wrap 
And then I just sent some, you know, broccoli. You can put some ranch dip with it and some blueberries and whatever berries or whatever fruits your kids like. And last but definitely not least, we have dip day. Kids love to dip. So I'm gonna show you how to make a ranch dip that the way I make it, I mean, it's just a quick ranch that my kids happen to just love. So I have some Greek yogurt, nice and thick. That's the difference between the Greek yogurt and, and other types of yogurt. The Greek yogurt is so much thicker and it has a little bit more protein. But if you have regular yogurt at home, you can just take that yogurt, get a bowl, put the yogurt in a colander, and then just put it over the bowl and let it sit in your refrigerator overnight. And when you wake up in the morning, there's gonna be all kinds of liquid in that bowl, but you're gonna end up with a much thicker yogurt. So you can use just regular yogurt and thicken it up by just eliminating some of the water. Um, I also have a little bit of sour cream. If your kids like goat cheese, you can add goat cheese to that. You can use whatever you like. And then we're just gonna add some spices, a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of parsley, chopped nice and fine, some Dijon mustard, or any kind of mustard, and a little bit of a combination of garlic powder and onion powder. And then I'm gonna chop up a little bit of chives here. So not too many, just a little bit, because it gives it a nice little flavor, but you want them nice and small. And you can always save the rest, whatever you're not using. I have an ongoing bag in my freezer of the ends of carrots, the ends of cucumbers, uh, lemons, herbs, herb stems, just ongoing in my freezer. And then once it fills up, I'd make it a vegetable stock. I just drop it in a pot of boiling water, let it cook down, add some spices, and then I drain it and strain it, and then put it in my freezer. And then I have a vegetable stock whenever I want it. It's really easy. Okay, so we're gonna add some of those chives, and then just a tiny hit of salt, and a little hit of freshly ground black pepper. So we're gonna just mix this all up. It's so good. My kids love it. You just put it into one of these containers and then you put it in with their lunch. So I have chips and I have hummus, which is gonna give you some protein. Uh, one of my episodes, I made a homemade hummus that you can find on online. And some fresh fruit and some vegetables to dip with. Um, I also have tzatziki, which is a delicious Greek dip, and this is um, very convenient. This is uh, Chef Maria Loy's tzatziki, which is absolutely wonderful. You can find this in stores across America. And kids that like tzatziki, it's got cucumbers in it, so you're getting nutrition in there and some yogurt, and it's just so, so yummy. And do the same thing. You just find a container. This container's a little big, but it's okay. You take one of these plastic containers, and you stick it in there, you pop the lid on it, and you can send this entire thing to school with them in their lunch boxes. So when we come back, I'm gonna show you some of the things that were frozen and how easy that is to do. Okay, so these are some of the things that were frozen from the school lunch. So I just very quickly wanted to run through them. This is the chili. When you're gonna make something like chili, you don't wanna make a little bit. You wanna make a lot of it, because there's a lot of ingredients and spices and things that go in there. So if you're gonna make it, make a lot because it freezes beautifully. So all you need is a container, a masking tape, and a Sharpie. So you just label it with what you, you pack it in a, a freezer safe container, put on a piece of masking tape, label it with what it is, and date it. So that's the chili. The cheese cubes freeze beautifully. You can pop these right out of the freezer and drop them right in the lunch box. Same thing with the cocktail sauce. Cocktail sauce freezes great. And you don't need a lot. So you can freeze, this is actually quite a bit, you can even freeze it in the smaller containers. Applesauce, as I said, freezes great. So you can just stack, have all of these things stacked in your freezer and just grab and go. The shrimp, again, in a Ziploc freezer safe bag, labeled and dated, you just pull them out as you cook shrimp as you like. Then we have, um, well you can actually freeze the tzatziki, the whole thing, but in here I have, in the empty jar, the empty jar, uh, Loy jar, I have the leftover ranch dip. So that freezes great, again, masking tape, ranch dip, and the date. So 
glass, using glass jars is a very, very good way to freeze things. So whenever I have leftover jars, then I just save them and then I'll freeze other things in there. And the last but definitely not least, the little McCain Smile sandwiches. These are frozen. Look how cute they are. You can hear it, they're frozen solid. But look how cute they are in there. Look how fresh they look. You can just pop them right in the lunchbox and by the time um, lunchtime rolls around, your kids will be eating this delicious uh, little potato pizza sandwich and uh, all of these other wonderful things. Thanks for watching Fresh to Frozen and Back. Tune in next time. If you like this episode, please share it with your friends. Follow me on social media at Diane Hendricks. Visit my website, subscribe to my YouTube channel, all that fun stuff. I'll see you next time.